Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve the system of simultaneous products equation by substitution method. And we can see these two equations. Let's look at the very first equation, xy equals to 48. In this equation, I am going to isolate y. That means I am going to divide by x on both sides. So that is going to give us six. x and x cancels out. We ended up with y equals to 48 over x. And I am going to call this equation as equation number one. And now let's focus on the second equation, x plus 3 times y minus 2 equals to 54. Here I am going to isolate this y minus 2 part, this part only. That means I am going to divide both sides by x plus 3 on this side and likewise x plus 3 on this side. And as you can see that this x plus 3 and x plus 3, they are gone. So we ended up with simply y minus 2 equals to 54 over x plus 3. All right. So I am going to call this as equation number and now in the next step we are going to substitute this y equals to 48 over x in this equation number two let's go ahead and do that thing so wherever we see y we're going to replace by 48 over x and then this minus 2 equals to 54 over x plus 3. Once again, I substituted this value over here for y. I just replaced it. And here we got a, an equation that has a fractions. We call it a rational equation. So we somehow we want to remove its fractions. So let's focus on these denominators over here, this x. And on this side, the denominator is x plus 3. So our least common denominator, or sometimes we call it least common multiple, is going to be simply x times x plus 3. So I am going to multiply each and every term by this quantity. So I'm going to multiply by x times x plus 3 on this very first terms. Likewise, x times x plus 3 and over here x times x plus 3 across the board. And now we can see that this x and x, this is gone. So we simply ended up with 48 times x plus 3 and over here this simply becomes negative 2 times x times x plus 3 equals to right up here in this case this x plus 3 is gone with this x plus 3 so we ended up with simply 54x. Now let's go ahead and distribute this 48 into these in the parentheses. So that's going to become 48x plus 144. Likewise, we are going to distribute over here. That's going to give us negative 2x squared minus 6x. And if we move this 54x on this side, left hand side become negative 54x equal to 0. Let's combine the like terms over here and we can see that we can put negative 2x 
square and then I am going to put down negative 12x if we combine x parts so negative 12x and then plus 144 equal to 0 and as you can see over here that this equation is easily divisible by negative 2 so I'm going to divide by negative 2 across the board that's going to make our life a lot easier just keep in your mind so then this negative 2 and negative 2 is gone so we ended up with simply positive x square plus negative and negative become positive 6x and then over here that is going to make negative 72 equal to 0 and we can see that this is a quadratic equation that can be easily factored out the possible factors are as you can see 72 has 6 and 12 so I can write x and uh, minus 6 and x plus 12 equal to 0 and since we are running out of space on this left hand side I'm going to move to right hand side over here since we have these two factors equal to 0 I can separate them I can split them up and I can write x minus 6 equal to 0 and the other one I'm going to put down x plus 12 equal to 0 so that is going to give us x equal to positive 6 one of our solutions and over here is going to give us x equal to negative 12 another solution and we know from equation number one that y equals to 48 over x we can just fill in the blanks over here put x wherever it is over here so that is going to become y equal to 48 divided by 6 that means y becomes simply 8 so that's the corresponding y value turns out to be 8 so we're going to have this ordered pair 6 comma 8 where this is 6 is your x value and 8 is your y value now let's repeat the same process for this x equal to negative 12 when we know y equals to 48 over x so y could be simply written as 48 over negative 12 that is going to give us simply y equal to negative 4 so this is the corresponding value for x equal to negative 12 so i can write simply this one as uh, in order pair negative 12 comma negative 4 where we can see that this negative 12 is our x value and negative 4 is our y value so thus we get a two set of ordered pairs and that is our answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.